Hola, community. This is Pablo Vasquez with more updates in 2.91, which is looking to be quite a leap in user interface and improvements. Remember, I, I showed you the fuzzy search a few days ago? Well, there is more related to that, related to change the way you're going to find properties or settings in Blender. In this case, properties. Why? Because it's the properties editor, the one I'm talking about, got a new search field. Yes, you can just start typing, click here, start typing, or you can even do control F and type right away. In this, a, in this case, for example, if I start searching for samples, it's going to highlight everything that matches and dim everything else. In this case, it's uh, sampling, the the, it's highlighting the whole panel because that's uh, it matches the title, then samples uh, inside of the surface scattering, Volumetrics also has samples related uh, options and in this case even the um, this uh, sub panel is highlighted because it contains a property which is the grayed out now because it's the sub panel the sub panel is not on but in that case it's gonna um, highlight it as well and as you can see here as soon as you start typing so even if you have everything hidden uh, if you st start typing it's gonna um, open those panels and sub panels that match the properties. This also works, for example, if you have a modifier. So if you have them collapse and you want to search for like type, then you get here, you get oh, with type, fit type, and it's gonna open those modifiers for you. This is, uh, this is amazing. It's really, really, really awesome. Uh, why uh, am I saying that this is maybe too soon to show it? Maybe it's, um, maybe it's too early to show this feature. It's uh, because there are even more improvements coming. Um, the way it's implemented right now, for example, if you just start, if you had the bevel open and then you search for something else that opens other panels, if you escape, it, um, it keeps everything open that matches matches and the idea um, is that it's gonna remember those panels that you had open before so if you cancel your search it's gonna go back to that previous open state um, and another improvement that is uh, actually not here yet and maybe I should have waited to make the video just to show it working because it's awesome um, it's the uh, multi-tab um, search so right now I don't know if you notice but it only highlights everything that is here in this tab but the patch it's already working um, for and it's going to work in the future for highlighting searches in other tabs so if, if there is another option that matches sampling somewhere else like in an object for example all the tabs are going to be dimmed except the ones matching so in this case object and then you go here and then you're going to see it so this is going to be amazing it's um it, it's it's just got added there are a few settings that you can also tweak um, there is one setting in particular which is the highlight color here this one which at the moment is just the the blender accent color but in the user preferences you can go into the themes in properties editor and you can change the search match to be something else um, whatever you can choose um, so far is the highlight uh, theme well there were also proposals into making like other colors but usually the colors most of the colors are taken for like errors or search or keyframes or like um, overrides so for now it's a bit more uh, conservative in that in that sense this is this is just crazy this is the the I, I'm so excited about this feature because it's it's not just the search in one tab. It's the whole work under the hood that it was done for uh, for making this work, for being able to search here, because it means that this concept could be expanded. It could be, for example, be in in the I don't know here, for example, if you want to search for. Uh, settings for properties for uh, preferences you should search here or this could also be extended to like end panels and search inside of other um, add-ons for example or like anywhere in blender and also it could be also improved in the um, uh, it could be improved with the new uh, fuzzy search uh, here Hans Goody the developer that implemented this feature big thanks Hans please just just keep rocking it. He is the one developer that also uh, gave us the modifier uh, layout panels. 
Um, so um, the new fuzzy search, he mentions that it could be an improvement. They reset the panel to the expansion before, which was already mentioned. And open all child panels, actually, these are already in, I believe. Uh, but yeah, this, this is just awesome. Just, just great to see this kind of uh, improvements that help everybody in Blender. It's not just one area, but it's the user interface, something so so basic as search. It's uh, it's awesome. And the more we can have search, it's it's amazing. I, I just want to have search everywhere, in modifiers, in menus, in uh, everywhere. Search all the things. Thanks for watching, and, I want, and I'll see you in the next <laughs> video. Bye, bye.